So here is the Grand Hotel front entryway. As soon as you come in, this is what you're going to see. Unpainted wood and everything, which is all kind of exciting. Infamously, the hotel had three murders in 1940, all within two months. Uh, this place is kind of a time capsule, actually. It's a hotel that was built in 1929, sort of at the height of uh, Shawnee's growth. It's been empty, the hotel's been empty for about 45 years. And uh, it's kind of a miracle that it's still standing today. And it's a project that I'm uh, sort of restoring. And I often use that word strongly because some people will say, oh, I love what you're doing. You're renovating that hotel. And I always stop them and say, no, I'm not renovating anything. I am restoring this hotel, you know? And again, it's a lot of hard work. It's, <laughs> it's nothing but hard work. I moved here uh, from BC. I was working for the government, uh, provincial government in BC. Um, and uh, the pandemic hit me hard. Uh, I had struggles with depression and, and anxiety throughout my adult life. And I think like many people uh, in the, uh, during the pandemic, everything got a lot worse. Every day I found myself asking the question, why am I here? What is my purpose? So I just kind of randomly chose Frontier Saskatchewan. The reason being, it was the cheapest house that I could find in Canada that I could pay for in cash. I was on a four month like mental health leave and uh, I found out about the hotel sort of at the end of my stay. Skeleton keys for the rooms. How many hotels still have the crazy stuff like this? So I was all excited and, and frankly living for this hotel and very excited to quit my job and you know, sold my condo and moved out here. But no, they all still work. They need adjustments. And I'm handy. So, you know, I cut my own glass a lot of the time to replace windows. I do all the work myself. I have to say that the Saskatchewan Heritage Foundation really got this project going for me. Um, they provided a grant to cover half of the cost of the roof. Um, this building was so leaky that without the roof being redone, there's really nothing you could do. That said, there are some big things coming up, like the boiler system needs to be redone. You know, I had a quote for in excess of $100,000 to tackle that. It's this beautiful tile work and it's all in good shape. And this, this has not been a silver bullet to cure depression. So I'm still very up and down in my, in my mental health. So there are many days like today where I, I feel good. I feel very positive about what I'm doing. But if I'm having a bad day and the weight of the world just seems like too much, this project can feel like too much too. Sometimes I can power through those days and I can get through it and I feel relieved by the end of the day having made progress. But there are definitely those days where I, I just can't shake it and I have to just pack up for the day and go home. Still don't have water, so I've become very friendly with the uh, restaurant next door. And, and I would love to have it done in about three or four years. That's that's kind of my hope. But again, I'm doing it all myself and, I, and I'm really enjoying the process. I knew it would take me a long time to do it. And, uh, and that's a good thing because it's a long-term goal. And it's a, it's, it's a reason to, to keep going when you're struggling with your mental health.